Hello everyone, Midjourney has released another update and we got something called style references now. It's basically a feature that will allow us to keep consistency in the style of the images we generate so that they look the same. This is a great update and one of the reasons why I like this so much is because I create a lot of children's books and illustrations for different clients. This is something that I've had to solve by manually editing the images in Photoshop sometimes or use long prompts to get similar styles in the same image. But now my dear viewers we got the style reference which will do that for us very effectively. Let's jump right into it and quickly read the mid-journey updates before I move on to generate some images using the new style reference feature. So in the announcements by Midjourney, they mentioned that this is the first test for the algorithms of consistent styles, which means that it will keep on getting better. They are calling the feature style references and it works similarly to the image prompts where you give a URL to one or more images that describe the consistent style you want. To use the new feature, you need to type dash dash sref along with a URL to an image. Midjourney will look at the image and try to match its style and aesthetics. This works only for version 6, including Niji version 6. So make sure you have the right version activated in your settings. Down here they mention some advanced settings, which is not that advanced to be honest. It explains that we can use multiple images as reference. It means that Midjourney will draw inspiration from more images and find the middle ground across the different images. So you type dash dash sref and include multiple URLs and separate them by spaces. If you're familiar with weights, you can use that as well. This is something that I recommend you to do. I do have an entire video where I cover weights and this is one of the features that separate beginners and more advanced users. Weights gives you the ability to tell Midjourney to prioritize a URL or a keyword or phrase in your prompt more than the rest. In this case, we can tell Midjourney to prioritize the style of an image more than the rest if you put multiple images as reference. And one last interesting thing before I start to generate images is this part down here. They also mentioned that they plan to add a consistent character feature at a later date that will work in the same way. This will probably be one of the best features, at least for me. If you're creating short movies, visuals for a story, like a children's book, then you will probably use this feature here to get similar characters in different poses, expressions and scenes. Alright, now let's have some fun and try this thing out. I want to generate an image of a girl and then another one of a boy and try the style reference to get a similar style. Let's go with a girl with curly black hair in the style of children's book illustrations. I want the aspect ratio of 16 and 9 and don't forget the version 6 at the end if you haven't activated the version 6 model in the settings. I also include the repeat parameter to run the prompt twice so that we have more results to choose from. And here are the images that we got. Most of them look beautiful, so let's choose one here. I will go with this one. It feels a little dreamy with the floating hair, so let's upscale it. Now let's move on to the boy here. Let's write the same prompt here, but change it to a boy instead of a girl. Now this is without the style reference, so we should get a bunch of beautiful images, but they shouldn't look very similar to our first image of the girl, because Midjourney just generates random styles if you don't point at a certain direction or tell it otherwise. Even though I wrote in the style of children's book illustrations, there are millions of different illustrations and styles for children's books. And as you can see here, we get animated or cartoonish images, but they appear to have a different style. Now let's try the same prompt again with a boy with curly hair. And this time I will put the new style reference feature so that we can compare them. So let's write the entire prompt again. You can simply copy and paste to save time. And now at the end of our prompt, we'll add dash dash sref and then copy the URL of the image that we're going to use as a reference and simply paste it here. And here we go. Wow, that's cool. We have a boy with curly black hair in the same style and aesthetics as our first image of the girl. Here is a comparison with and without the style reference feature. Alright, now let's try out another prompt and style which might be a little harder. I'm doing this on purpose to try the limits of this new feature. Let's go with a bicycle in the style of medieval line art. And here are the results that we got. A bunch of images of a bicycle that looks like they've been drawn by hand. Now we see that the styles vary a little bit even though they might seem similar, especially these two here. This one is more black with darker shadows while this one has a more brown color to it and the shadows are brighter. Now let's use these as separate reference images for the style and see what we get. I will try a new prompt. Let's go with a basketball on a rooftop. We'll add dash dash sref, copy the image link and then paste it at the end here separated by a space. Now while this is generating, let's write the second prompt. I will just copy and paste the prompt and copy the image link of the image up here this time for reference. And here is a side by side comparison of the images we got. 
So for the darker bicycle with a yellowish background, we got this here. And for the brown and lighter colored bicycle with the white background, we got this. Well, I gotta say that this feature does actually deliver. It might still need improvement for some of the results, but I can count on it to do its job in the end. Now we can use the same style to generate other images. Here I use a similar prompt as our first image of a girl with curly black hair. Now you can pretend to be an artist on Instagram and upload images with a consistent style. Maybe create your own style and share it with us in the comments down below. Alright, now let's end this with something more colorful. Here I wrote a futuristic Tokyo, vibrant colors and cool patterns in the style of collage and children's book illustrations. These are the images I got. As you can see, I didn't use version 6 to generate these images because you can use any image you want and you can even upload an image of your own or from Google. The important part here is to use version 6 when you want to use the new style reference feature to generate a new image. So let's go ahead and create a few more images using this style and see what we get. These images are very colorful including a bunch of different patterns and shapes. It will be interesting to see the results here in a second. Let's copy the image link once again and paste it after the style reference parameter here. I will also include another URL image because we can do that if you remember from the announcement we read at the beginning. The reason I am doing that is to have more examples of the style I am referring to. The first image has a woman's face that covers a big part of the image so I am adding the second image just to make sure that me journey understand that I want more colorful patterned images. Here are the results I got for the prompt a crow and a penguin looking at each other. It is very cool but it doesn't include the city in the background and that is most probably because we didn't mention that in the prompt. Let's try another one here to include some buildings or houses in the background. I will try with a boy riding a bike in the street instead and use the same two images as reference as I did before. And here we go. That's so good. We have the colorful patterns, buildings and the street. I like that the boy is not hard to see while the other elements are exploding with color and shapes and almost merging into each other. This is actually a cool style. I think I will use this one here for the thumbnail of this video. If you found this helpful or interesting, please support me by clicking on that subscribe button, which is only a click away. If you have watched all the way to the end, I really appreciate you and I wish you a great day. Subscribe.